All right, we're back with a celebrity who is, of all things, a Red Sox fan. We'll, let him, we'll let him stay. <laughs> Should we invite him back again? <laughs> what can you do, uh, right? Uh, what can you do? Yeah. Win in Rome, huh? Yeah, I guess. All right, so, so Todd, you, of course, are an Emmy Award-winning game show host. What was that moment like for you in your career standing on that stage? Uh, well, I think by the time I actually got to the stage, I think it was all right. I think it was the, the <laughs> moment where you hear the name, uh, a series of seconds of complete and utter disbelief, uh, hugging people you don't even really know, and then the walk <laughs> up. It's like you're kissing babies and, and yeah, passing yeah, people. Yeah, you feel like you're running for office. But it, 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 truth be told, it was really a culmination of all uh, that had led up to that moment. You know, all the people that I've had the chance to work with, uh, all the great moments I've shared with contestants, um, all the all the goals attained, all the you know the the rejections swept away. You know, a little bit of everything. Did it, you it, bring it with you, the Emmy? Do you carry it around with it? I think oh, you might. Come on, you got people. Send somebody out to get it. Yeah, of course. No, it's funny. She asked me off camera. She said, "Where do you keep it?" I said, "Out of reach and out of high traffic areas yeah. of the house." But you, you still want to be able to see it. That's right. right. So it's a tricky thing. You know, you almost have to bring in a private decorator to find the, the perfect spot. There you go. Well, we, we have some when connections you for that. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. 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 Maybe someday. Well, well, speaking of that, Todd was actually the, the first guy that ever sort of helped me with hosting and advice at the Oakdale, of all no places. Kidding. He was doing Price is Right Live, uh -huh. and uh, he was nice enough to meet me backstage and yeah. kind of give me some tips. And uh, that was like two weeks ago. So, yeah. <laughs> well, it seemed that to have worked. That was, that was yeah, really nice there. of you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was way back, yeah. way back. Well, it was the same thing. We were talking about Bob Barker and I, you know, how he was kind enough to mentor me. And I think when you find someone that's very passionate about what you take as seriously as you and I take as game show hosting sure. or just hosting in general, you know, you want the craft and the art, and it is a craft and an art. You want it to live on, you want it to grow, and the only way it's going to grow is by people that really care about it. So now, Teresa got, is, on. is excited about this. Uh, the E Network. You were one of the original right. uh, E people. Yeah. So, How so fun. who is the the craziest celebrity that you entered? Wow. Um, well, listen, we're all crazy. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I mean, what good is it if we're not all a little crazy, all of us? Right. But um, I. I I was really fortunate to be able to interview just about everybody. I think my favorite interview was uh, President Bill Clinton. Mm -hmm. And everything they say about him with the charisma and the mm -hmm. eye contact and making you feel like you're the only person in the world is 100% true. Absolutely. I think the craziest, the most awkward, I'll use the word awkward okay. instead of crazy. <laughs> That's always fun. Was Tommy Lee Jones because I was instructed literally 10 seconds before he arrived to not look at him. When no, I ask my questions, come on! Like so that then, was his request. It's like well, it was his person's request. Wow. But that's like me saying to you, "All right, whatever you do, don't think of a red elephant." <laughs> and, you know, <laughs> so I, I'm looking up and I'm looking down, and I still have it. What are you looking at his shoes? I'm, like, looking, I'm just, just looking around, around, going, "So the movie that took a while to shoot, huh? Was it exciting? You know, you don't know what to look at. Right. And who's to say I would have looked at him anyway? I yeah. might have been looking at my cards, but when you say you can't do it, you want to do it. True. Yeah. Uh, Todd, tell us about Life in the Bonus Round. Life in the Bonus Round is uh, a book that. That I wrote. It's my first book, and uh, I, I'm really, really proud of this. This started off as a series of stories that I wanted to tell my kids that perhaps they were a little too young to learn and, and to really appreciate and to even hear. But this is a book full of stories that in which I share the philosophies that have helped me achieve the life I've always wanted to achieve, which is being a game show host, being mm -hmm. a dad. Um, those philosophies include surrounding yourself with great people, whether it's family, friends, co-workers, uh, it, it just really having this laser-like focus on exactly what you want, everything and anyone else be damned, really, which mm -hmm. is the only way to get what you want. And then the craziness that comes along with, um, you know, with emceeing and hosting and anything from uh, nightclubs and, and casinos yeah. to, Theaters of three, four thousand people. Some good stories but in there. But yeah, this is a, a Look great. Look at you! How old book. were you with a microphone right in front of yeah, you? I was nineteen then. <laughs> nineteen. No, this you is look my, like maybe five. My grandmother <laughs> took me to church with her when I was two years old. Two. Okay. And we got there early, and she put me up behind the the pulpit there and, and took a picture. And I found that in an old shoebox. You're like, I like this and microphone. Like a, I'm, I'm like, doing this. That's the book this. cover. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. That's perfect. Pretty and, cool. And proceeds of the book go to the Newton, Newton Fund, Fund for, for Kids. Yeah, Newton Fund for Kids. We provide financial support 
uh, in order for chi children of all ages, regardless of their inab inability or ability to pay, to receive mm -hmm. state-of-the-art health care, no matter where they're located in the United States. So right. a portion of every proceed, a portion of every sale from the book, uh, it's available on Amazon, it's available everywhere, uh, it goes to help kids. All right, now Todd, we're going to uh, play a little role reversal here. Of course, okay. you're, you're used to being the game show host, but we're going to make you right. the contestant. Today we're playing the Totally <laughs> Fair Game Show. Is now, this is the only time I've been, the second time I've been a contestant. Oh, second. I was on, I was on uh, the dating game. Come the on, dating Marty. game, are you really? Didn't go well, uh, so let's hope this <laughs> goes better. All right, well, All we'll right. see here. It's the, the Totally, totally Fair, Fair Game, game show. show. All right, so we're going to have some questions. You guys have to uh, okay. to buzz in with your very high-tech buzzers. All right, okay. first off, uh, what are the main colors of CT style? Blue and yellow. Blue and yellow is absolutely correct. One point for Teresa. All right, next up. I don't who, know if that counts as trivia. All right, go ahead. <laughs> who is the host of the Newlywed Game? Bob Eubanks. Oh, I should have known yeah. that. Okay, all right. It we'll, is. We'll give, give it to him. That, one. that, that, one. that was totally fair. All right. <laughs> yeah. What does it say on the back of a Connecticut license plate? Teresa? Nutmeg State. Nutmeg State is correct. She, Did you know that? No, I didn't. <laughs> Come on, Todd. Step up your game here. These are all right. It's totally fair. Niche <laughs> questions. This, okay. is, this is totally fair. Yeah. What is the number one secret to being a successful game show host? Great hair. Ooh, Todd, I'm, I'm so sorry. That wasn't in the form of a question. Oh, what? <laughs> I would say what a fun is, personality. What is stellar hair thickness? He, he has very voluminous oh, hair, yeah, I have to say. Around, yeah. Very voluminous. All right, and the final question here, the Totally Wait, Fair Game Show. Yeah, we're tied. You guys are tied. So, okay. so this is the tiebreaker. At six months pregnant, the baby in the womb is equivalent to... You don't know this. That cute little dog that runs around the studio. So no, what? No, not anchor not dog, no. no. Teresa? A corn on the cob. That is An ear of corn. Oh. Correct. Oh. Uh, better luck next time, I think Todd. that was a setup. What do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Just that one? <laughs> Just that one. Yeah. Just the okay. pregnancy question. Right, Good game. Fun. Good game. It's all in fun. What do we win? I, I, I don't know. Our respect and admiration. Maybe <laughs> yeah. a, a little. Here we go. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that's, that's a great prize. All right.